What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are here bringing you guys part one for my brand new playthrough on Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet for the Nintendo Switch. This game has been a long time coming and I'm super excited to be bringing you guys guides, playthroughs, and ranked battles on this game. You guys already know the deal. If you are hyped for this brand new playthrough and this brand new Pokemon game, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to stay updated on all of my Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet content. But yeah, we are here getting started with part one of my playthrough. And I plan on just getting started with this game, making like a 45 minute video of just, you know, doing the introduction, picking our starter and rolling out from there. So without further ado, let's just get rolling here. But I played this game a little bit before I actually started recording. I have two separate accounts. If you guys want to catch extra content from me playing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, make sure you head over to my Twitch page. Link is down in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch. And also follow my Twitter, guys. If you guys want to uh, stay up to date on uh, like uh, ranked content and send me rental codes for this game, make sure you guys go do so over on my Twitter when you beat the game and kind of just like start making rental teams and doing ranked battle stuff. But yeah, like I said, I have two accounts for this game. One is going to be my main account, which I'm already playing through already. I'm already pretty deep into the game. Been grinding it since uh, it came out in the morning or actually like late night, morning, like 12 o'clock in the morning. And then uh, this is my separate account, which I'm just doing a playthrough on, kind of running through it and just bringing you guys other stuff. But yeah, I figured I'd make two accounts just so I can uh, complete the game, get in the ranked battle as quick as for you guys and do guides for you guys as quickly as I possibly can. But the beginning of this game is I would say kind of slow, but not really because they add like little parts into it, like heading on the routes, doing a couple of battles and all that stuff. But you don't get the freedom to about like two hours into the game. So it's not too bad, though. It is definitely not too bad. But yeah, like I said, in today's video, we're just going to be rocking out with the introduction, kind of heading towards our route. And most importantly, choosing our starter for this game. I already know who I'm picking. Let me know in the comment section down below who you guys picked. But yeah, right now we're in the house. We're hanging out with Mama Bear over here. And I think this is like the professor kind of guy he owns or he likes is the head of the academy Which is kind of like the main thing in this game. You head over to the academy You learn about Pokemon and all that good stuff But yeah, this game is definitely different from uh, most Pokemon games and I have no complaints on it I think this game has been phenomenal so far really really good definitely top tier in the Pokemon series But my only problem with this game is gonna be is I think everybody's saying it is going to be its graphics and its graphics isn't bad. It's like at certain parts you can see like little like, I don't know, like pixelated stuff. And it's kind of weird. It kind of throws you off. But it's not a big deal. It doesn't take away from the gameplay or anything. It really doesn't. But that's like the only complaint I feel like anybody could really have on this game. Because other than that, this game has been incredible. It is so fun to just explore the lands, kind of grind out everything and all that good stuff. Yeah, just overall, I think this game is going to be top tier. I just cannot wait to see what, what the reviews rate it and how everybody feels about it. So if you guys are feeling a certain way about it, if you guys are really enjoying it, let me know in the comment section down below. But we grabbed their hat, we grabbed their backpack, we're ready to get it rolling with this game. We are ready to get rolling. But the only part I hate about the beginning is like you're walking just for like the first 10 minutes. You just walk around and it's just so slow. You're just like, dude, I want to run around. I want to go explore areas. But once you get that freedom in this game, it's, it's game over. Like you guys are just going to love it if you guys haven't grant got the access to just head into areas yet and just do what you want when you want you guys are missing out so far well because once you get there it's just like dude i can do whatever i want i can head this way i can head that way which is it's just amazing it is really just an amazing feature that they added to this game but now it's making me hype for the next pokemon game like the next pokemon game is going to be even better that's why i'm super hyped for uh breath of the wild 2 legend of zelda breath of the wild 2 because the first one was so good that the second one has to be even better. <laughs> so it's going to be crazy. But we finally make our way outside. Didn't really take us too long. I kind of know what I'm doing. So I'm kind of just like roaming around. Speeding through for you guys. Because everybody knows the beginning is boring. But my boy over here sends out the three starters. And they look absolutely amazing. I think all the original starters look so good. Like, look, look at my boy Quaxley, Fue Coco, and Sprigatito. Look at that, dude. The design is just perfect. I really do like their starter forms. And their uh, final evolutions are definitely growing on they're definitely growing on me. I didn't really like a few of them at first. I liked uh, Foy Coco's final evolution at first. And then at Quaxley's, I kind of liked it a little bit more as I started playing. And Sprigatito is probably my worst of the three, but I still kind of like the final evolution. But yeah, I definitely think they did great on the starters. Look how cool they are, dude. I want to get plushes of them because I have plushes of the old starters from Sword and Shield. And I got them like year one when Sword and Shield did come out. So I got to get uh, Quaxley, Foy Coco, and Sprigatito plushes for you guys. Just have them hanging around on my shoulders. Or I kind of want to get like a little stand that might hang on my chair. So they can kind of like poke on the corner. Or just like DIY, you know? But mom's out here talking to us. And she just hands us 
the lovely Rotom phone. So the Rotom phone is kind of like your basic menus and everything. You can see the map. You can see your Pokedex when you unlock it. You can see like all different stuff. It's kind of like your pause menu. It's your upgraded pause menu, I should say. But the best part about this game, like I said, is the exploration. And actually something I didn't do in my other account is go this way. But I can't run yet, so I kind of don't want to go over this way. Because it's going to take me 10 years to kind of get back. Do I go over this way? Is there going to be Pokeballs or anything? You know what? Screw it. We're going. We're walking around our house. We're checking it out. But yeah, as you guys can tell, the graphics aren't bad right now. Like I said, my only complaint would... Oh, there's a Pokeball over here. Cool. There's a Pokeball over here, which I love. Get a potion. But yeah, like I said, my only complaint is the graphics. But the graphics aren't bad in this instance. It's uh, You guys will see probably uh, later in today's video. Like, in certain instances, it's kind of just like, dude, what is that graphic? It just looks weird, and the, pixel, the pixels are all weird, and it just, just doesn't flow right. But you guys will see in a second. But I think my boys were actually following me. Oh, yeah, there they are. <laughs> I was going to say, I forgot about him. Look at him. Sprigatito, Quaxley. Yo, get over here. Let's go. And Fue Coco. Yeah, in this beginning part, they uh they follow you down this hill all the way to the uh, that guy's mansion. That's the guy who we were just talking to. And it's actually really cool because you just see him all running around. Where's Quaxley at? Come on, Quaxley. Look at him. Quaxley, over here. <laughs> yeah, look at my boy, yo. I always thought this was cool. When I was walking down here, I was like, yo, I got the boys hanging with me. Like, why can't I just keep them all? Like, look at them. How sick would this be you have them all running around you? They're just adorable. They're adorable, but there is nothing to do here. You could talk to these people, but they don't really have much to say. All you got to do is walk this area, and then you get the capable the capability to run, which is awesome. Which running is just like the same way as walking, but you just move. You can just move faster now, which is awesome. So what you want to do is just make your way all the way down this way over to the mansion, and there is a nice little Pokeball. I kind of know where a lot of these Pokeballs are. And a good feature that they actually brought into the game is how you can pick up Pokeballs. Like, look how quick that is. You don't have to stop or anything. You kind of just get the Pokeball and you get whatever item there is. But, yo, boys, it was nice knowing you. Thank you guys for hanging out. We're going to go give you back to the professor guy over here. And we're going to choose one of you guys. We are going to choose him. We're going to choose him. It's a tough decision. It is a tough decision. But I already know who I'm taking for this playthrough. Got to go with my boy. Got to go with my dog. Got to go with my dog. But look at him. Now they hit. This is kind of like their introduction. We kind of saw this on the uh, trailer, but yo, Quaxley doing his little hairdo. You got Sprigatito hanging out with the flowers. It's a grass cat Pokemon. I just, I just think they did a good job uh, with this uh, little intro here. I just think it looks sick. And then this is kind of funny. Yo, Fue Coco is showing here with his little oranges. Or is that a peach? I think it's an orange, but oranges don't have leaves, but it looks like an orange. But yeah, he, he, he lights it on fire because he sneezes with the leaf. And then Fue Coco meets a new buddy, which is going to be our friend throughout the playthrough. My girl. She didn't even say her name yet, but it is Namona. Namona. And you know, is that like Professor's daughter? She, she good looking. She good looking. <laughs> That's my baby right there. <laughs> but look at the crew. The crew is all here. Boy Coco's eating his burnt peach, orange, whatever you want to call it. Quack, she's like, nah, son, yo, drop that. Let it go. <laughs> so, like I said, yo, they are uh, really good on the animation. And this is the part where we pick our starter. We get to choose our lovely starter, Quaxley, Sprigatito, or Fue Coco over here. And again, they all look so cool. I think I love them all. Like, I know we can choose Sprigatito, Quaxley, or Fue Coco, but where's the option where I can just beat up this old man and take all three of them? <laughs> just the option, just, it's like, who would you want to pick? Sprigatito, Quaxley, Fue Coco, punch the old guy in the face twice, steal all three. That's the, that's the option I want. That is the option I want. But there it is. Name Mona over here. Dude, that's good. That, 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 look at her, yo. She's a good looking girl. <laughs> but let me pick my guy. On that new Master Jeans. I like how it calls me Master. Dang Street. We decide on which Pokemon. Of course I decided. Sprigatito over here. Psych, we going with Fue Coco, baby. Gotta go with my boy Fue Coco. I feel like in the most recent games. I'm trying to think of the most recent game where I went with the fire starter. It's been a while. It's been a long time coming for Gene. Usually I'm a grass or water type starter. Usually I go with grass. But this time I'm going with the fire starter. I'm trying to think. Gen 1, I went with a. Uh, Gen 1, I went with a. Uh, what is it? I went with like all three. I can't even remember. Gen 2, my favorite was always uh, Totodile. I went with Totodile. Gen 3, I was a Trico person. Gen 4, I was Turtwig, Pipplup. Split between that. Gen 5, I feel like I went with, like, Tepig, but, and Oshawott, but more so Oshawott, I feel like. Gen 6, I was Greninja, obviously, cannot go wrong with Greninja. And then Gen 7, I was, uh, 
I'm not going with Gen 7. I think I went with Rallet. I think I went with Rallet. Now, dude, I got a fire starter. I haven't used a fire starter in a while. It's been it's been years. <laughs> it's been years. But obviously I do like multiple playthroughs of the game. Especially when I was a kid, so I would always like chill them. Or uh switch up and choose different ones. But Naomi's over here. She's like, yo. I don't even know if this is her father or anything, but she's like, yo, professor guy over here. Let me get one of them starters. So of course she's gonna choose uh Sprigatito over here because a little cat. But what annoys me about her taking Sprigatito is it kind of takes away from what they used to do in the older games. And the older game is your rival or your partner, whatever they were. They would always take the best typing advantage up against your Pokemon. So since I took Coco, they would normally take the water type. And if I took the water type, they would take the grass type. But in the newer games, they kind of made it easier for people to play through and all that stuff. Which kind of annoys me, but they choose the opposite one now. So now I have the typing advantage rather than our rival. But... Nimona over here says, yo, Jeans, can you meet me over at the beach? And I say, okay, yo, you got to give me a second because exploration is, like, huge in this game. So whenever you get the chance to explore, go for it. You can usually find some cool items, get all different stuff. Like, look at this. I'm going back here, and I'm getting some extra potions, getting some extra stuff, all that good stuff. So whenever you get the chance to explore, always explore. Always explore. Broaden your horizons, which is awesome. But, yo, look at my boy Quaxley. So sad he didn't get chosen, but look at him. He's just chilling. Look at my boy. <laughs> my boy's chilling. But as you guys can tell, I went with uh, the full face cam or like no layout on this one. Like usually with my Pokemon content, I bring a layout and all that good stuff. But I feel like I, I just didn't need one for this game. I just feel like we should have like a bigger screen, kind of like bring you guys some uh, better visuals and all that good stuff. And then when we have ranked battles and all that, I'll make a layout for you guys and all that good stuff. But like I said, before we actually go head over to that beach... We're going to explore around here, grab all different types of Pokeballs, stack up on our items, and then do our first rival battle, which is awesome. I wouldn't really consider, they're not called rivals anymore, which kind of sucks. They're like your partner, and you just have like friendly partner battles. The whole game was just like, yo, you're battling your rival, and it used to be annoying when you battle your rival, because they would pop up at the worst time. They would pop up at the worst time. Like, um, great example of this would be Gen 3? Yeah, Gen 3, uh, after the, or when you're going towards the third gym. When you're going towards the third gym, you're like underneath the bike route and everything. And you go through, you verse a bunch of trainers, and it's always at like the end of your trip. You're just like, oh, dude, thank God I need to heal my Pokemon. Then your rival's just chilling there. You're like, no, I got to verse this guy now. And then he just slaps up on you, which I really do miss. I really do miss. It was, it was, just, it was just like, it was annoying back then because you lost your rival. But like now that it's gone and now that you just smoke your rival every time, it's like, oh, dude, I kind of miss getting beat up on. <laughs> but there we go. We collect a few Pokeballs. We're going to head over to Nimona over here, and we're going to say, hey, yo, let's get a little challenge going. Let's get our first battle with our lovely boy, Fuecoco. Lovely boy, Fuecoco. But yeah, the introduction's actually not bad. Like, after we defeat this battle, we kind of go into, like, an open area, and we go towards, like, our first route, which is really dope. And we get to see some new Pokemon. We get to catch some new Pokemon. We get to beat up on new Pokemon. It's just super fun all around. So I think the introduction's not bad. Definitely better than other games. Definitely better than other games, but obviously, you guys know it's going to be slow every single time. But Namona, what's goody? You want a battle? Let's get after it. Let's get after it, girly. Yo, her hair's sick. I love that little, like, the, the, the green in her hair. I think it's so sick. And the high ponytail? She's look, she looks tough, yo. She looks tough. Looks real cool. Is she going to throw out Sprigatito? I got my boy, Coco. Is my Coco a boy? I'm curious. Is he a boy? It is a boy. That's a Sprigatito boy, and we already have Ember. Oh, this battle's GG. You outspeed. Sprigatito's obviously faster. Boy Coco's stats are more of it's a special attacker with low speed but like high HP and high defense. So it's actually pretty decent. I feel like it's a great tricking Pokemon for rank battles and a great Pokemon with the Assault Vest. So I feel like we're going to be using this Pokemon maybe for one of our first rank uh, battle videos. This thing's going to tail with me, drop my defense, and I'm just going to throw a nice lovely Ember across the board. But now that I've gotten into like rank battles and everything, my appreciation for like status condition moves and like stat drop moves and stat buff moves are just through the roof. They are through the roof. So I absolutely love them. I absolutely love them. Like I used to be like as like a kid and even in like previous games, I was like, yo, let's just uh, use all attacking moves kind of roll up in there. But now I want like stat boost moves, stat dropping moves, all that cool stuff. But we defeat our first little trainer, our first friendship slash rival battle. Quaxley's chilling in the bottom right corner. He's hilarious, man. Quaxley's hilarious. I really like the typings, too, for the uh, final evolutions. You got the Ghost and Fire for uh, Foycoco. What is it? Grass and Dark, which is cool. Or Sprigatito. And then you got Fighting and Water. 
The only other fighting water type I can think of is Polyrath, right? There's, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's probably more, but that's the only one I can think of off the top of my head. And Ghost and Fire, yo, Chandelure. Chandelure is sick, yo. Chandelure is definitely one of my favorite Pokemon. But I already have my team planned out for this whole game, pretty much. I already know what Pokemon I want. I'm going to be using uh, four new Pokemon and two old Pokemon. But the two old Pokemon, you guys, if you when you guys see them, you guys are going to be like, yeah, yo, Jeans, if you guys have been watching my content at least, you guys are going to be like, yo, Jeans definitely loves this Pokemon. Definitely his favorite Pokemon. All right, Clavel, let us go. We want to go head towards the goal. We're going to go head towards the new route, which is awesome. And we got to start making our way towards the school. And once you get to the schooling, that's uh, that's where you kind of branch off of everything. There's three different story modes you can do. And kind of just do them at your own pace. You can do half of one, half of the other, half of the next one. And just keep rolling around and just doing everything at, at your own game. Which is amazing. It's definitely amazing. But let's roll. Let's get it cooking. You guys are going to also see me just like running around. I'm not going to be catching or completing the Pokedex in this playthrough. Because I'm doing it in my other game. In my main game. But in this game, we're going to be battling Pokemon, at least getting them to our Pokedex. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to be catching them. We're not going to be doing all that. But I'll be I'll be taking them out to the XP level up and all that good stuff. But from here, we got to head down here. This is going to be our last conversation with Mama Bear before we actually head out on our journey. It's like, hey, yo, I hear Naimona is actually taking you to the school. Blah, blah, blah. She's going to give us the normal goodies and stuff. Give me my potions, my Pokeballs. Actually, does she give us Pokeballs? I know she gives us potions. Hmm. Not too sure if she gives us Pokeballs. I think uh, Nemona might give us Pokeballs a little bit later. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Oh, she gives us a sandwich. Oh, yeah, yo. Sandwiches are big in this game. They give you buffs. Uh, end game, they give you, like, shiny chances. Odds boost it. They, you can just do so much stuff with the sandwiches. So, props to the Pokemon creators for actually uh, bringing sandwiches in the game. Which I think uh, I think they could have made it a cooler item instead of a sandwich. But it, the, the idea is sick. Like, they should have made it, like, a puffin or, like, I guess, like, a scent. You create like potion like scents that you spray into the air because just eating a sandwich shouldn't boost your shiny chances <laughs> like i get like shooting like a scent in the air that makes shiny pokemon come into your area which is kind of weird but sandwiches are funny man it's just like yo eat this sandwich eat this sandwich right here and i might get another shiny but name owner's just like yo let's get going over here we have to go meet her over here and something i want to show you guys is the map oh we have auto heal feature which is cool okay how do i get past this i'm gonna go to my map I just actually have to hit the minus to go to my map. I just want to show you guys how big this game is. Because I don't think people know yet just how big this game is. Like, this is enormous. This game is enormous. So, we traveled from here. This is my house. To here. That's all we traveled to. And if I want to actually uh, zoom out here. This is how big the map is. The map is huge. And this is just like if I zoom in here. Like, we still have to go like here, here, here. We have all this area to explore. Which is absurd. Which is absolutely absurd. And it's kind of weird. I'm kind of just noticing this now. And I can already see all the names of the maps. Or the marked areas. Which I guess you don't have to unlock them or anything to actually see it on the map. So the map is already unlocked for you. But we make your way to our first route. Which is the Poco Path. Poco Path over here. Pretty cool area. You're just going to get your normal Route 1 Pokemon. Get your battle beef implemented. And you're going to get after it. But look at it. You got Lay Chunks running around. You got, uh, I forget what that Pokemon's called. It's a new bug Pokemon. But it's like a spider web ball. You got Fletchlings out here. I know there's, uh, Hoppets running around here too. But Lay Chunks are hilarious. You'll be seeing them, like, rolling around on their back and stuff. And that's another thing. Like, the Pokemon animations are really cool. Especially with them just, like, laying around in the wild area. Having a good time and just doing their own thing. Because each Pokemon, it seems like they have their own, like, personality. But look at it. It's a little Lay Chunk. Oink, oink. <laughs> Yo, dude, I'm so ready for this game. I'm so I, I'm so happy for this game to be out. But Lake Chunk's gonna come here in here. It's gonna be our little like practice battle. It's gonna tell us to catch it. So I'm gonna catch a nice little Lake Chunk here. I'm gonna catch a nice little Lake Chunk. I'm gonna hit it first with a beautiful Ember. But Coco's gonna rip. And that's another thing. I can actually like turn my camera around here and actually check it out the battles from different angles, which is cool. I'm gonna throw a Pokeball. And look how quick they actually make catching Pokemon, which I really do like this little uh little detail here catching pokemon is like a, like two seconds quicker which is awesome i just think that's so good just being able to catch pokemon as quickly as possible and then like just going on about your mission and about your day in this game so props to the pokemon creators for making that small little change to make the game a little better make the game a tad bit better yeah pokedex are books now which is i'm kind of with i'm kind of with it kind of just like going to bookshelf 
Which kind of makes sense because your, your whole thing is like going to the academy and doing your thing. But Namona gave us all those Pokeballs. She's going to give us 10 more. And she's going to make AO Jeans meet me at the lighthouse. And we can explore at our own pace. Just a small area. It's not like a huge area, but it's kind of big for it being a small area. You can run around here and it's just insane. Like just this area itself is kind of like a small wild area in the uh, in Sword and Shield, which is absolutely amazing. So I can kind of just do my thing right now. But before I do my own thing, I got to go to my boxes. I got to get Lei Chunk on out of here. I do not want you to Lei Chunk. Get in the box. You're not on the team. You're not part of the squad. You are not part of the squad. There's another Lei Chunk. Here is uh, that one that spider Pokemon. And you can just throw a Pokeball. That's how you battle now. You can run into him or you can just throw a Pokeball outside. Then eventually you get the auto battle feature, which is really cool. I think it's really dope. Because you can just run around, have your Pokemon kill Pokemon, level up your Pokemon. All that good stuff. But yeah, we're going to take out that little bug right there. Newbie right there. And we're going to grab this little Pokeball back here. A little bit of potion action. Oh, they chunk. We do not want to battle you. Another Pokeball here. And look at this thing. Got this, uh, you got the spider in the tree. I want to see his name. Can I hit him? Oh, I hit that one. <laughs> it hit that one. <laughs> I forget his name again. It's like, what is it? Tarantula. Tarantula. So instead of tarantula, it's a tarout because it's round. It's a round little, little pokey. A round little Pokemon. There we go. Take it out. Grab that XP. Play Coco's going to get some levels. Does it level up? It does indeed. Let's go. Level 7. And we learned round, which is a 60 base damage move, right? I think it's 60 base damage with, uh, with uh, normal typing. So we don't get the stab boost, but still. It does the same amount of damage as our Ember. If it's not super effective, because Ember gets that stab boost. Am I correct on that? Yeah, 60, 40. 40 plus stab is going to be 60. But since this one's super effective, it's going to do way more damage. Later, hop it. Later, hop it. Get rid of that. Get that in our Pokedex. It updates, and we'll grab this. It's so nice just being able to run up and grab items and not waste time. It's awesome. We're getting revives. We're getting Pokeballs. We're getting all that good stuff. Any new Pokemon I have to kill? I think there's a few other new Pokemon around here. I thought I saw a Pokeball. Oh, it's right here. Thank you very much. Super Potion. So, oh, there's one right here. I didn't. How did I see this one? I walked right past it. Give me that. Pokeball. So we're stacking up on our normal little items. Getting them all in our bag. All the good stuff in the other. There's a Fletchling. Hey, yo! Fletchling! Where you going? Chill! Yo! Where's he going? I want to I wanna battle you. <laughs> yo, he's gone. I couldn't even battle him. Get on my face with that. Get on my face with that. Anything up here? I think there has to be something up here. What is that? Oh. Well, Scatterbug. Scatterbug? Is that a scene? I think it is, right? Scatterbug? Scatterbug? Scatterbug. I was correct. I was correct. But yeah, not going to be catching all these Pokemon. I'm completing the Pokedex in my other game, so I really don't feel like doing it in two games. I'm not going not gonna to lie to you guys. So I'm just going to be taking out Pokemon, getting them in my Pokedex, all that good stuff. No Pokeball over here. It's a little odd. That's definitely a little odd. But yeah, if you guys want to see me gr grind my uh, main account, completing the Pokedex, doing rank battles and stuff, like I said in the beginning of today's video, head over to my Twitch page, Genes25 on Twitch. Link is down in the description below. Again, go hit that follow button. If I'm live, come hang out, say what's up, all that good stuff. It's just a good time. It's just a good time. Can I grab this Pokeball? Thank you. Grab that Pokeball. Any other Pokemon that I need to catch? Or attack, as I should say. Got more Hoppets over here. I believe more Fletchlings will spawn over here, which is good. But I definitely need them in my Pokédex. I will grab this. And any Fletchlings? There you go. Oh, there's a Palmy. It's a Palmy. How you doing, Palmy? How about you? Another cool thing about this game is it goes based off of time, too. It was based off of time. Which I think it's really dope. But Palmy's a new Pokemon. I think a lot of people are liking it. It has three evolutions and it has a move. It's like one of the only Pokemon to ever learn this move where you can revive a Pokemon that is dead in your party. Which I think is going to be insane for rank battles. Insane. Because just imagine like your strongest Pokemon dies and now you know what Pokemon they have. You can just be like, hey, yo, I'm going to revive this guy and come back and sweep the battle. Which is absolutely, like, dude, it's so cool. It's so cool that they added that. There's some late chunks over here. No Fletchlings. I've seen a ton of Fletchlings, Fletchlings in my other game when I first started off here in this area. I guess no Fletchlings. We'll find some of them later. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it. But we got this area over here. Can I head up here? Oh, no. We're getting stopped by Nimona. I think she's like right here, right? 
Hey, Gene, you getting the hang of catching Pokemon? Yes, yes, ma'am. I already know how to do it. I already know how to do it. Yes, sir, lady, sir. I'm going to hear a mysterious cry. Big, loud cry. Never heard that kind of cry before. Could be something, some strong Pokemon or something. I said we find whatever made that cry. Let's take a look around, Jeans. Just be careful. There's a kind of unsafe cave not far from here. So steer clear. Gotcha. Gotcha, girly. Now, sometimes I'll read the text. Sometimes I won't. But before we actually go ahead over to that cave, more exploration has to be done. Like, dude, this game is so good. It's so good just being able to run around and do all this stuff. And there's another scatterbug. Do not want you. What's over here? Lake Chonk is shown. Can I auto battle here? I can auto battle. I, I thought I had to unlock that feature. That is sick. That is sick. Auto battling is so nice. Look, look at that. Bop. Just taking out Pokemon left and right. Don't even have to battle them. And we get XP for that. That is huge. That's enormous. Auto battle. Can I auto battle you? Get him. Get him, play Coco. Take him out. <laughs> so I just get like free XP. I feel like you get less XP for auto battling. But still, I feel like I do more auto battles than anything. So I feel like overall I get more XP as a total. Oh, we got Grass Knot. How do we just get Grass Knot? Is that, was that Pokemon holding Grass Knot? That's pretty sick. Hey, Lee Chong. Slap him up. <laughs> yeah, this is sick, yo. The XP is awesome. I kind of want to test if you get more XP by actually battling. I feel like you have to. Oh, look at that. We got a Palmy over here. What is that? Hop it up there. I'm actually going to battle this, uh, this late chunk. Kind of want to do a quick test. Got to do a quick test. We got to do a quick test. We got to check it out. We got to see if we get more XP. I mean, it only has, it's only level two. So I think the, I think the last late chunk, we got like six to eight XP. Let's see if we get more for actually battling it. Nine? Probably. I feel like you do. I feel like you do. But yeah, we have to go find that cave, and I know exactly where that cave is. It's right over here. So if you come over here, it's going to trigger a cutscene, and this part is kind of weird. Like, I just don't understand it. You guys will see in a second, but it's cool at the same time because you get to meet the boy. You get to meet the boy, which is crazy considering, I mean, I guess I'll talk about it in a little bit. But you look over the cliff, you're like, yo, what's making that noise? And you get to see the boy, Moridon over here. The box art legendary, which is so sick. He, I think he is one of the coolest looking legendaries ever. He looks insanely cool. I think his design is perfect. It's mwah. But this is the part I don't understand. You fall off this cliff and you just hop and hang on to your phone and like take no fall damage. What? <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> what is going on? Makes no sense, but it'd be like that. It'd be like that. But my boy Maridon over here, he's just chilling, and he's not looking well. He's not looking well at all. But dude, he's so cool. He's so cool. Like I was saying though, something that I didn't really understand, but it's kind of different, is usually you have to wait till like, like, late game to see the legendary for the first time, or even catch it or hang out with it. But this one's like right off the rip, right off the rip. It's like, yo, here's your legendary. <laughs> you have him. I'm like, I'm like okay, fine. But he's not feeling good. You have to give him some, and we only really have one item to give him. That's gonna be the sandwich that Mama made us. So I'm gonna give it to him. I'm gonna be like, "Hey, yo, boy, eat up. I know you wanna eat it. I know you wanna eat it. I know you wanna eat the sandwich. Look at that. Look at that tasty wheat bread. Got some nice proteins on it. A little bit of salad on there. A little bit of lettuce. Nom nom. There you go. He eats it up. Now he's he boy's fueled up, and we just befriended a legendary before we even have a Pokemon, really. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, check this out though. New Pokemon game. Your boy's rocking new headset. Check it, check it. Real spiffy. Looking real, real nice. Looking real nice. I'm feeling good. I had my old headset from the first time I got my PC. I bought it all together. And I had it for like three years. I actually said it went. It's like three years I had them, and then I just got these. These are super comfortable, super light, and the sound quality is ten times better. Ten times better. So when I'm playing other games such as like Fortnite, Rocket League, or like Warzone, the new, the new Warzone came out, which is really good. I'm loving the sound. Yo, my boy Maridon is fueling up, and I love this cutscene right here. I just think his animation is so cool. I really do. Like, look at that Pokemon. Oh, look at him. Looking so good. I'm telling you, one of the coolest looking legendaries ever. Ever, ever, ever. I'm on that board. I'm on the Maridon train. 
on that board for one of my favorite legendaries. It definitely, it's already top three for me. It's probably going to be the number one soon. Looks so sick. Looks so sick. He's over here. He's heading into the cave right here. We're going to follow him. We're going to be like, hey, yo, there's a boy. There's a boy. There is our boy. Anything on this beach? I don't think I, I don't know if I checked it. I don't know if I checked it like last game, but look at him. He's just standing there waiting for us. Any Pokeballs on this beach? A little bit of water action. Cannot wait to surf and all that. Cannot wait to get after that way. But there's our boy. Yo, dude, he's so cool. He's so cool. We get to head inside the cave, and once we head into the cave, we can only walk. And, and, uh, no, we can, we can run, but if we get too close, we're going to be able to walk. We can only go in an area that is behind Maridon. But this part, part's actually pretty cool. You get to go in here. You get to see Maridon full in action. You get to catch a few Pokemon, get a few items, and you can actually hop off here. I kind of want to show you guys. Oh, no. Oh, yo, I did not know there was a path down here. That's sick. We got here. A little Pokeball. I don't think I got that in my original playthrough. But there's a boy he's waiting for us. But you can actually hop off that into the water if you want to. But you'll just respawn. You'll fall into the water. But there's our girl. What's up, baby girl? How you doing? How you doing? There you are, Jeans. You okay? You're not hurt, right? Nah, yo. Psh. I'm fine, yo. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. But yeah, she's up there. We're going to start heading over to her to exit this cave. And pretty much from there, the game kind of starts. It doesn't fully start, but you get another big wild area, which is awesome. And we're going to grab this potion. We're going to keep following our boy. And look at him, yo. Slashing through rocks. I love it. I love it, dude. I love it. Something I don't know is, I don't, do you get this Pokemon or do you get Maridon or Crydon to battle with as a Pokemon? Or is he only rideable in the game? I'm not too sure. Well, here's our boy right here. We got a little, what is this? Uh, what's this Pokemon called again? I totally forget, but he's pretty cool looking. I know it's like a Route 1 kind of like rodent, young goose, but he's pretty cool looking. I'm all about him. I'm going to beat him up. I'm going to add him to my Pokedex. Drop a little Ember. And I think you get more HP for straight up battling Pokemon. Nine, I don't know. Somebody let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have been playing this game for a little bit. We got a Hound Dune up here, which you can't catch or anything. You kind of throw your Pokeball out, but can't do anything with it. But he'll come into play later. He will come into play later. We got another young goose. I'm going to actually auto battle that thing. No, this way. No, this way. Thank you. Beat him up. Get him. Good work. So we take him out. Here are other Pokemon. Think behind me. There's my boy Maridon. Going to keep looking this way. Looking for new Pokemon. Stuff to battle. And I can't go that way because he has to move forward. Oh, there's Diglett. What's up, Diglett? Regular Diglett. Can I, like, throw Pokemon at you? Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why it kind of like glitched there, but original Diglett is here. There is Wiglet in the game, which a lot of you guys already know of, and he looks sick, yo. Wiglet looks amazing. Wiglet and Wug Trio. <laughs> the name's hilarious. You can't go wrong with the name. X is gonna drop. We gonna pop this thing with an Ember. Later, Diglett. Later, Diglett. We'll take the XP 16. Keep rolling. Pokedex has been updated, and there's another Young Goose over there. So I'm going to push uh, Maridon up there, and I'm going to go auto-battle this guy. Bop. Get him out of here, yo. Slap him up. Loving it. Can't move forward again. I'm trying to get that item. Let's go, Foy Coco. Is there anything over here? Did I check over here? Oh. Ooh. Not check over here. Just a little Pokeball. I get it. Oh, wow. Yo, what was that glitch? Pokeball. Two Pokeballs. Which cool. I'll take that all day. A little cave action. And I'll head back up here and have uh have my boy Maride on. Keep moving forward. Where you at, buddy? Actually, I should be able to grab the Pokeball now. Nope, cutscene. Hound Dooms in pack. In a pack. These dudes, <laughs> they rolling up with 10 of them. Hey, yo, what's goody? What's goody? <laughs> Gang stuff right there. And yeah, I wouldn't mess with I would not mess with uh, Maride on. He could probably kill you with one sweep of the tail. He could probably kill you with one sweep of the tail, no problem. I'm gonna head over here. I'm gonna grab a nice little Pokeball. And grab another revive, which is cool. And we're gonna go over here and have this boy push forward. Go ahead and ride on. Anything back here? Back here? I'm curious. Nah, it doesn't seem like it. it does not seem like it. Let's get it, buddy. Go ahead and ride on. Onward! Why do I hear Fletchling? Sometimes I hear Pokemon that I don't see. And it kind of annoys me. They're probably above me because if it's a fletchling, it's flying around doing its own thing. Well, let's keep moving forward with our boy here and see what's going on. I think you can look down here and there's like 
stuff down there. How do I get down there? That looks sweet. That looks sweet. Let's keep moving forward here. Please look out. Something's coming. You guys remember the Pokemon I was talking about? He's coming. He is coming. It's the boy Houndoom right here. It is Houndoom chilling here. We're going to have to battle it. Whoop up on it. Let him know who's daddy. But I think my face cam is solid in the top right corner. Hopefully it's not going to be blocking anything later in the game. But if it is blocking stuff, you guys got to let me know in the comment section down below if I should change or not. And this thing is level 40? Level 40 over here. You hit battle. This thing goes for a crunch. And we say, hey, yo, Fue Coco. Nah, yo, get back here. Get back here. You're hanging around with us. But, yo, the Houndoom looks great. I really do like its texture. Same thing with this Pokemon. Looks insane. The Houndoom looks great. What's called looks good, too. If you guys have seen Scissor in this game, Scissor looks amazing. But this animation's so cool. It is so cool. But Houndoom does a roar. He says, hey, yo, gang of Hound Houndoors, Houndoors, however you want to pronounce it. Let's gang up on this thing. And I can't believe this Maridon's not just like, hey, yo, I'll do like a tail whip kind of thing and just kill all these dogs in one, one little whip. The legendary Pokemon versus a puny little first stage dogs. But instead of battling, my boy Scoop says, look at him. He's carrying us like we're dead. Like we're flopping. Just like, <laughs> I think it's so funny. And he can do these mega jumps, hop up here with us and just save our lives. So cool, man. So cool. I love it. Yeah, there's the end of the cutscene. How long have I been recording for? All right, about 35 minutes. Not not too bad. Not too bad. Like I said, videos for these playthroughs are going to be 45 minutes to an hour, which I think is a good amount of time for us to explore, do some things, get into action, all that good stuff. Not bad. We make our way over here with Moridon, which is perfect, but... For some reason, I did not actually make it this far in the game. He goes down. I guess he uses up too much strength, too much power, and you have to refuel. Not like any other Pokemon. Maybe you got to bring it to like the Pokemon Center or something like that. My boy. My boy. He's back up on his feet, but he's not on his hind legs. So is there like a difference with him if he's on his hind legs rather than all four? I guess we'll keep playing to find out. I guess we'll keep playing to find out. But a Rotom phone comes out here and I forget what she gives us. Does she give us something or add something to her Pokedex? Huh? Oh, she gives us Swift. Okay, so she gives us TMs here. So we're able to get some TMs. You guys already know what TMs does. You can actually give it to any Pokemon that is able to learn that specific move and you give it to them. Which I really like. I always like TMs. Always cool. And I'm glad they got rid of HMs. HMs were kind of annoying because you would always have that HM slave. But we get to head to the lighthouse now. And does my boy follow me? No, he's just hanging there with a uh, uh, Nemona. Right, that's fine. So we got to head to the lighthouse. I'm actually going to go head around this back area. And of course, I'm getting stopped by another cutscene. I want to go get some Pokeballs, get some cool stuff. But we're over here and there's this dude chilling here. This guy's kind of annoying. <laughs> Not going to lie. <clears throat> What's up, dude? What are you doing out here? Yo, don't talk to him like that. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth, dude. <laughs> I'm not talking to you two. You can shove off. Wait, I know you. Aren't you Arvin? You enrolled at the Humanities track, right? Yes, he is. Professor Soda. Is that his name? Professor Soda? That's fine. But this guy's over here. He's got a problem with us, like, having this Pokemon. So he's like, yeah, yo, you want to battle us? I'll be like, yeah. Let me, let me bring out my boy Foy Coco and get ripping. I kind of want to get, like, a nine-foot plush of that thing. Ride on? Imagine. Probably expensive, but still. Still a Pokemon. There's a lab there. There's a lab there, and I wonder what the lab is. I actually didn't see if I could go into the lab after I did this in the main game. So maybe we'll see. But this guy wants to test our strength since we're like the new kid on the block. He's like, hey, yo, let's battle. And I'm not going to turn out a battle. I'm going to be like, hey, yo, get my fire crack out here. Let's get ripping. And he has a squirrel bat. You're going to call me out just to have this Pokemon? Nah, son. 
Ah, my boy Foy Coco. <laughs> Foy Coco, ready to roll. I remember when Sword and Shield came out about three years ago at this date. I remember I was so sick and I had, and I was just like, dude, I gotta record. I gotta record. But thank God, new new game came out and I'm not sick. Which is huge. Which is huge. Because again, I remember just recording it with my throat killing me and all that good stuff. But now I can sit back, really enjoy this game, and kind of go from there. I'm just going to Ember Burn them. We're going to rip into them. And Squivet's going to go down. Beautiful. Awesome. Love it. Love it. And we get 39 XP. Level 9. All day. All day. I wonder if these Pokemon evolve on the uh, same levels as the normal starters. 16 and 36. Maybe they change it. I could see them definitely changing it. Because this game is totally different from all the other Pokemons. So I can see them even changing up the level. Uh, stuff like that. The evolution levels. But you never know. Most of the time they'll probably keep the same because starters are just like a staple to the games. But we beat up on this dude. We tell him to go home. And he's going to give us something really, really cool. He's going to give us the Coridon Pokeball. Coridon's Pokeball. Even though this is Maridon, right? Coridon's the electric one. Am I getting it mixed up? Or maybe I just haven't gotten like too far into the game yet. I oh, know he's from the lab. Oh, there's future and ancient. Oh, wait a minute. Is this in Coridon but ancient form? So it's called Maridon? That makes sense. And maybe in the other games they call Coridon Maridon. But now we have Coridon's Pokeball. I gotta see. Hold up. I I gotta see. Gimme give, give me one second. Give me one second, people. Give me one second. I know that that is Coridon. That's my babe. That's Coridon right there. <laughs> the other one's Miridon. I've been getting a mix up. This one's Coridon. The other one's Miridon. Okay. We're good. You guys, it, for the people that didn't watch all the way through, they're probably like roasting me. Jeans, that's not that's not Miridon. That's Coridon. Blah 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 blah. Just keep your mouth shut. All right. <laughs> I'll, I'll handle it. Yo, we got a late chunk over here. I'm gonna whoop on it. We just Pokeball. We got a nice little revive. We're gonna get some late chunk hair, and we're gonna get some three XP. <gasps> Fletchlings! I had to battle one of them. Come here. We're picking this one out of the crew. Out of the whole crew, we're picking this one. And all the other ones just kind of like hang out and stuff. I know they're they're flying away <laughs> like birds do. Wow, I really got the names mixed up. Kind of upset at myself. Kept calling it Maridon. We'll slap up on them. We'll say see you later. I thought that ever since like they they, they announced the Pokemon Maridon and Coridon, I thought that one was always, uh, I thought that one was always Maridon. But next task is gonna be climb up to Lighthouse. That's exactly what we're gonna do, and we're gonna see something really really cool. And this kind of shows like how the graphics are kind of whack. But if you come over here to uh, Nate, Nate Mona over here, she's gonna give us a nice look out of the whole world. And as you guys can see, like the ridges on the buildings looking all weird. The trees are looking not so hot. And this is like one of those examples where, where I was saying like the graphics are definitely off. But again, the world looks gorgeous. The world looks huge, which I cannot wait to explore. But again, the graphics on like long distance items, as you guys can see, like right here is like, you know, like what's that tree on the left side? Looks like I painted that on the screen. Like, look at that. Come on now. You can do so much better. <laughs> Granted, Pokemon is not made for, like, its graphics. It's made for its exploration and collectivism with the game. But come on now. They, they can do better than this. Like, look at that. Look at the Poke Center thing spinning up right above the pole. Come on now. Come on now. They can do so much better. Like, the house is all rigidy. The trees look stupid. Not really when you... Not too much when you get, so, when you get close up. But for the most part, it's like, eh. It's like, yo, what are you doing? But now I can head to Los Platos. Los Platos. Get a little Spanish going in here. Loving it. You can head over to this new area and explore it. Which I'm going to actually do in today's video. I don't think it's going to be too bad. We're going to ask Spearberry. I don't think it's going to be too bad. But we're going to discover some new Pokemon. We're going to have some trainer battles. You want to battle me, dude? All right, we'll battle you. So I think we'll head to that uh, station over there before we finish off today's video. Which is going to be solid. And there's my boy, Youngster. What was his name? Lion? Elian. Elian. And he's going to throw out a uh, Tarantula. Learn the names, which is dope. And I'm just going to Ember it and take it out. Get all that XP. 
But I wonder, I don't know when I'm going to catch my first Pokemon for my team. I think it's got to be soon. I feel like it's got to be soon. Because one of them should be an early game Pokemon. But there we go. We'll take the XP right out from there. And I wonder if we take out a new Pokemon with auto attack, will it go towards our Pokedex? I guess we'll test it here. We'll grab this. We got Psyduck. I guess we'll test it with the Magikarp. Get a Flicoco. Oh, he's in the water! Boy Coco! I did not know that. I cannot send him in water. Oh! <laughs> I cannot send my boy Boy Coco in water. I right, heal up, buddy. <laughs> I sent him in water, man. That's kind of funny. Uh, I'm just gonna whip up on this thing. I can throw him in there like that. I can't send him in water. But at this point, I'll hang out on the outside. If I can just round him, take him out, no problem. Add him to my Pokedex. <laughs> oh, Flicoco, you really let this thing survive? Does it do damage with Splash and Water? Nah, it's stupid. That'd be hilarious. If it was in water. That would make Splash a really cool move. If you're battling in water, it should be able to do damage. Just Splash and Water all around. There we go. We'll take out Flicoco. We are going to uh, challenge this dude right here. This little duck of size. And we're going to get whooping on him. But we're going to start seeing some new Pokemon on this little route. And... We're going to get him to our Pokedex. So I'm just going to round it up. Take it out. Right. Two rounds should take this thing out. Correct? I think so. Oh, no. We might need three. <gasps> but Coco. Okay. You don't take too much damage. I thought we were going to take a heaping amount of damage. That's fine. I'm going to beat up on you. And he's going to confuse me. How dare you? And I'll take him out here. Awesome. So three rounds. Take him out. We should get a nice chunk of HP. Level six Sida. I think that should give us a nice amount of XP. 56, level 10, let's go. Let's go, we got a Zoomerel over there, and I'm gonna actually battle it right now. Come here, buddy. Come here, ah, Zoomerel, it's just a Zoomerel. A Zoomerel. Another thing I like about new games is just learning the new Pokemon. Just getting my Pokemon knowledge up. It is awesome. But we're gonna round, should do, oh wow, that did a lot more than I thought it would. This thing's gonna tail with me. I'm just gonna take it out with a tackle. We're gonna say GG's. G to the G's. Get him on out of here. Oh, he's gone. Dope. If we get rid of them, there's a, there is a Psyduck there, but we can actually head down this path right here, which is exactly what we're going to do. <clears throat> if we head down this path, there is actually such a cool Pokemon down here, which I cannot wait to show you guys. I was actually really hyped when I saw him over here. I'm not going to auto-attack those Pokemon. I'm more so going to auto-attack like Pokemon that I know my Flaycoco is like, super effective up against. Or that can just dominate it, so. I'm not going to do it up on these side decks. Because your Pokemon will still lose HP and all that good stuff. If you're auto-attacking. But if you make your way down, all the way down to this area. You go to a beach area. And look who's chilling here, yo. You got Wiglets, dude. Wiglets are so sick. And these kind of things will go inside. What is that in the water? That's a Weasel. But if you sneak up on a Wiglet right here. You can actually catch them. If not, they'll like kind of go back into the holes. I think these things are so sick. I think they're really cool. I'm gonna round up on it. Do some damage to it. Maybe KO in one shot. I do. Get on out of here, Wiglet. Welcome to the Pokedex. Welcome to the Pokedex. We got a Buizel in the water. I'm gonna fight this Wingle just chilling here. We got Wiglet sand materials. Yo, look at that Buizel. Look at him. <laughs> He's swimming around. He looks so sick. He looks so sick. And hopefully two rounds can KO. I don't know. Okay, two rounds will KO, which is huge. Water guns can come in here. Oh! Chill me. We need to heal you up. We need to heal you up after this battle. We'll drop another round. And we'll say see you later to Wiglet. Or not Wiglet. Wingle. Get him on out of here. Get him on out of here. We'll go to our bag. We'll give a single potion. And we'll keep moving on. Any other Pokemon? Oh, there's a Buizel. I haven't fought a Buizel yet. Oh, we want to fight this Buizel. I'll just run into it. You can run into Pokemon. Gotta get rolling. Yo, look at Flake Coco. He's on a little inflatable. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Just chilling on inflatable. I like how I'm challenging all, all these water Pokemon with Flake Coco. He's gonna tackle me. I will finish him off with another round. And then I think that's all like the water Pokemon around here. Which is good. Which is solid. Solid, solid, solid. There it is, guys. There's Magikarps. There's Azurils. 
There's Psyducks. Yeah, we, 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 we defeated all of them. Let's go head on to the main mission to keep exploring the other areas. Because there is another Pokemon or a few other Pokemon that I got to defeat before we finish off today's video. But yeah, if you go up here, you can actually explore like a big area. I'll show that to you guys in just a second. This leads back to the bridge area if you come up here. But this way, this way is the real way. I think this is like something you got to do to like backtrack. Like look at this. You can head all the way out here. And explore this whole land. I love it. I love it. We'll grab this Pokeball and we'll just go back to the normal path. What is that? That's a hop it there. I can auto battle hop it. Good. Yeah, that, they're the Pokemon you want to auto battle. Something like that. Oh, he's beating up on two Pokemon. Ah, uh, okay. That's fine. He just smoked up on them. <laughs> he was just whooping over there. Got more Hoppets. Can you defeat them all here? Get him, Boy Coco. Get him. Get him. Yo, yo, get him all. Yo, he's going crazy. <laughs> I didn't know you could do this. He's just taking out a whole family of Hoppets. The man. The man. Yo, I did not know that. That's actually hilarious. Oh, and he's beating up the Lei Chong. No problem, he says. Six Pokemon. I just defeated it. Let's beat up somebody else. I hear it. It's, an it's enough. Where you at? I right, get back here, dude. He's killing everything. All right, good, good work, Boy Coco. Thank you. Come back here. How much HP does he have? He's doing great. <laughs> he's doing great. <laughs> He's doing so good. We got that. There's another Tarantula. And right here there is... What is that? <gasps> I want I want one. These things are sick. I didn't see these in my other game. Little Deerlings. <laughs> Little Deerlings. Such a cool Pokemon. Level 7 though. Level 7 Deerlings. It is fast to me, but we're doing some nice damage to it. Oh, this thing's grass typing? Cool. It's grass typing. We take it out. No problem. We say, hey, yo, get on out my game. So we get rid of the Deerling, we get 64, oh, a solid XP to get, solid XP to get. But if we head down here, we're going to meet a brand new Pokemon, which I think a lot of people were hype about. Look at this dude right here, Paldean Wooper. Paldean Wooper. He looks so cool. I'm, I'm a big fan of Paldean Wooper. Really cool Pokemon. Level five. We'll be able to take it out, no problem. We'll get whooping on it. But such a cool Pokemon. I love its design and I love its evolution. Its evolution isn't Quagsire. It's a much cooler Pokemon. A really cool Pokemon. But okay, so we got 68 from that first deal, and I want to see how much XP we get for this thing. Yeah, you get less XP for auto battling. Okay, makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. But it's good to kind of just like run around and do your auto battles. It is really good. We got a lot of Pokeballs over here, just chilling. So I'm going to grab them up here just so we have extra items. And if you come down to this waterfall over here, you get a nice little uh, TM right here. I think it's Endure again. It is Endure. We already have an Endure. Why would you put two Endures in like the same area? Makes no sense. Well, what is that? Oh, it's a Scatterbug. I was wondering what the heck it was. And we got one of these guys, which is a really cool Pokemon. Which I think I didn't really like when I first saw it. But I'm really liking it right now. It is Fido. Really adorable Pokemon, not going to lie. This thing's level 6. It's a nice level 6 Pokemon. I'm going to KO it, add it to our Pokedex. I don't know if you auto battle Pokemon, it goes to your Pokedex. Either way, I'd rather get the more XP this way and kind of just show you guys all the Pokemon. Dope, dope, dope. Did we level up? Level 12. Not bad for, not bad for episode 1. Oh yeah, I want Bite. You get Bite, I'm going to get rid of Pound. Or Tackle. We'll get rid of Tackle. We'll keep Leer here. Is that another trainer we have to go beat? I don't think I beat this trainer yet. Come here, little trainer. You want to battle? I don't think I battle this person. I gotta get down like I put my hands on my knees because this dude's so small. <laughs> That's so funny. He's gonna send out Lei Chunk. That's good, Lei Chunk. And where's an Apple Coco? Versus. Dope. You got one Pokemon? You do. Let's go for an Ember and I think we can take it out one shot. Do not. Lei Chunk's able to tail whip us and drop my defensive stat. How dare you drop my defensive stat? How dare you? How dare you? Cool, we get rid of that. Now we can move on here. Dun, 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 dun. Give me some money. I like how like, you beat up on kids and you, you take their money. It's like, yeah, I'll take that money all day. There's another Fido, which is cool. And then here's one last Pokemon we're going to do. 
Before we finish off today's video, there is an Iggly buff right here. A nice, lovely Iggly buff. And I know Ralt spawns over there too, so if you guys are looking for Ralt, go ahead over there. He's gonna copycat me. He's gonna Ember me. How dare you? Ember looks cool. Some of the move animations are sick, and some of them are eh. But Ember looks cool. It's just like straight laser. Laser fireball. Love it. Take that 28 XP. And there it is, guys. We make our way all the way over to this lovely little station, which these are located around like all different big areas and stuff. And they're just healing stations. They're basically like a Pokemon Center on the go, which I think is cool. Which I think it's really cool. You got the Pokemon Center for healing your Pokemon. You got the Poke Mart right there. And then you have the TM machine, which is the green one. So you can actually uh, have your dudes uh, learn TMs, all that good stuff, kind of roll out from there, which I really like. Plus, you can buy items and all that good stuff. This little TM machine. And over here, this is actually the part where you learn how to do, uh, where you learn how to do the auto battles. And since I already know how to do it, I didn't know if it was locked or not. So I just gave it a try. And when you look at that, I was able to actually do auto battles right at the beginning of the game. So if you guys want to know how to do auto battles, it's just, just the right bumper. Right, right trigger will throw out your Pokemon, but right bumper will actually command your Pokemon to attack that certain slot. Which is pretty cool. So she's actually teaching us how to do it now. It's just called the Let's Go feature. But there it is, guys. That is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. As in part two, we're going to be heading on to this new little city area and continuing on with the main game. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.